Hi, and welcome to this DCP Way tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fade video clips in and out using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, on my desktop, I've got this folder, and inside this folder, I've got this one video clip. I downloaded that video clip from Pixabay. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Let's open up Adobe Premiere Pro and drag and drop that video clip onto the timeline. That will also add it to the media pool and create a composition here. So we can see the video clip in here. I'm going to set this to fit so we can see it clearly here and we just want to fade this video clip in and out let's zoom in a little bit just so you can see this a bit clearer and we're going to go over to the effects control panel we're going to go to video effects and we're going to go to uh, the video transitions here and dissolve inside the dissolve you've got a few different options and we're going to use the film dissolve if i drag and drop that at the beginning of the video clip and drag and drop it at the end of the video clip and we'll go back to the beginning and click play we'll see our video will fade in nicely and it will fade out nicely as well you can also use dip to black to do that same effect so if i were to remove these film effects let's just clear this one and clear this one here we just right click on them to clear them we can use dip to black so we can drag that to the beginning and we can drag dip to black at the end as well and if we go back and click play we'll get the similar sort of effect similar sort of style why would you use one over the other it's not really any sort of preference to be fair but what you can do is um, clear these normally if i'm just fading video clips in and out um, i would use the film dissolve but if you want to fade to black and then bring another video clip in it's better off using the dip to black right so let's use film dissolve and drag that to the front and we use film dissolve and drag that towards the end let's drag another one towards the end here and we want to change the duration so there's a few ways to change the duration if we um if we zoom in a bit more here this is actually the current duration and if you right click on it you can go set trans uh, transition duration right now it's set to one second and one frame so let's set this to something like two seconds and we'll click ok and you'll see this will expand this duration here will expand and if we were to go back and click play the fade will be more gradual if we click on the right hand side we can drag the duration so we can drag it and make it a lot more gradual and this will just fade over a much longer duration yeah so you can either drag but when you drag uh, if you want to know exactly the duration you have to click on it right click set duration you can see it's at five seconds five seconds is too much so let's set that back to two seconds and that will be our duration here we can go back to the end clip and apply that same logic so let's click here on the end transition set transition this is probably the most accurate way to do it is to set it to a numeric value like this and then you'll be very specific and your fade ins and fade outs will be at the same duration which i think is not necessarily important it depends on what you're doing but it's quite nice to have the fades in and out at the same duration we'll click play it will fade in nicely now if we go towards the end and click play it should fade out nicely as well so use the film dissolve if you just want to fade content in and out i'll be going through tutorials looking at some of these other transitions as well and explaining how to use them as well so that's just a quick tutorial showing you how to fade video content in and out using adobe premiere let's go to file save let's minimize this and let's close this window i hope you find that tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial